Westdale continues their music and film series tomorrow night at 7 with a special screening of the documentary 20 Feet from Stardom. So why are we showing Susie McNeil and then her video there, I believe, because, well, Susie, Susie McNeil is here. Hello, Susie, <laughs> Susie McNeil. Hello. And we have, we have uh, Alicia Main from uh, the Westdale. Hi. Because, Susie, you are going to be singing ahead of the film tomorrow night. Yes. That's very exciting. Yes. Uh, loving the hairdo, too, by the Thank way. You. How long have we had this color for? Um, it was one of the lockdowns. I was like, I, oh, can't, okay. I can't see my stylist. And then I just <laughs> went all pink. So it's been like a year and a bit. Amazing. I Good. change it soon. Cool. But, um, let's get into music and film with you, Alicia, first. So sure. where did this idea come from? How did we get Susie involved? How do you pick the film? So many questions to <laughs> Absolutely. answer. Absolutely. Well, I've, I've noticed uh, patrons at the Westdale are really looking for something uplifting and fun coming out of the pandemic. Uh, we, we all lost our opportunity to see live music. So I really want to combine those in, in the theater experience. Yeah. So see big concert films, music documentaries on the big screen, but also bring the opportunity for performers to help bring those films to life. Yeah, so 20 Feet from Stardom yes. is a film, how, when did it come out? Uh, 2013. 2013, I've yeah. seen it, mm -hmm. I don't really remember it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I remember Me seeing too. it because, <laughs> it, honestly though, but give us a little mm -hmm. synopsis about the film, Alicia. Yeah, so it, it just portrays the stories of the back backup singers that you see backing bands like the Rolling Stones. Yeah. We have people like Mary Clayton, uh, Claudia Lanier, Darlene Love, who sang on so many of those Motown hits that you know you hear their voices on every recording. Yeah. Um, but this is kind of their story. Okay, and we know Susie as the front and out there singing, <laughs> but you also do backup singing. I do, yes. Okay. I kind of do any, like when I was a kid and I wanted to be a singer, I made a promise to myself I'm going to make a living singing, but I don't care in what capacity. So this kind of fell in, falls into all of it. I do all of it. So I'm, I've sang back up for Pink, Gretchen Wilson. She's redneck woman, <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know her. Yeah. Um, and then You can keep going if you want to. Like, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> and currently Aerosmith at their um, residency in Vegas. Okay. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, so the role of a backup singer. Like what's where 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 are you as the backup singer when Aerosmith and like their hits? Um, well, oh there I am. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I, you know, Steven's such a an, an awesome, you know, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's cool to say that. Um, and uh, they haven't really had, I think my husband always is celebrates the fact that I'm the only female member of Aerosmith. I'm not really a member, but yeah, like no, standing but you are, up but there on the stage. And so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I have that moment often when I'm up there going like, wow, this is, you know, it doesn't get more legendary than them. Um, and Stephen loves singing. He loves harmonies so much. So, you know, we'll often, we do warm ups before every show and we just get into all these, he loves Beatles harmonies. And, um, and I find backup singers in most of them, most of the shows are often showcased. Like there's a, just like any other musician, if it's an entertaining, show you, you know they'll give each person a moment so I get that but that's what you see in the movie because you have all these people talking about these very very important people in the band because they are in the band they might not their yeah. name might not be in the headlines yes. but they're a part of the band every night when they're on stage performing yes and I can't remember so I didn't want to watch the movie again because I want to watch mm. it tomorrow right um, but I can't remember are they like like kind of crusty about being like there's like not all I think they're all different types of stories yeah right? and, so, I, and I honestly I don't really totally remember it either and that's why it's good well, to be yeah, to bring it together it. in like it together yeah we you know have I mean? Dar well Darlene Love I think at one point I uh, was cleaning houses and hearing her songs on the radio <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that would make you grumpy right uh, you know, but I mean I don't feel that way because mm. I I First of all, I have my sort of solo career here in Canada, so I, I get to, you know, have that outlet. Yeah. But I also like the fact, I was thinking about this the other day, like those guys don't, you know, when we're living in Vegas, they can't really leave their villas. Like you can't really, it's a hard life, your villa. But you can't. <laughs> What's your villa look like? <laughs> Um, 
my private chef and my yeah, villa. Oh, right? no. um, but I'd rather yeah, be able to, to, to go out yeah. and do it and maybe not be as recognizable to still yeah. have a somewhat re a normal life. And do what life. I love. Okay. Yeah. But you're, you're performing tomorrow night. Yes. Before, before. Okay, yes. so we got to go, but tickets are still available. Where do they get yeah. the tickets, uh, Alicia? The Westdale.ca. Okay, Westdale.ca. Yes. Uh, Susan McNeil is going to be performing Ooh. and you're going to be watching the yes. film uh, 20 yeah. Feet from Stardom tomorrow night. Really, really cool series <laughs> at the uh, at the Westdale. Mm -hmm. uh, screening happens at, uh, at 7 o'clock and the Westdale is just such a gem in this city. <laughs> And you are a gem <laughs> to Canada. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, we gotta go. Uh, more morning live coming up after this. Great to see you, Susie. Great to see you, Alicia. Thank you. Great idea.